I want to show you how I made this tapestry paper background that I used on this card. So I've got a piece of very vanilla that I stamped with the En Francais background stamp using soft suede classic ink. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, add some shimmer paint using the faux pearl technique. And so I've got this uh, wadded up piece of uh, plastic wrap and a little bit of shimmer paint. I'm using uh, the champagne shimmer paint uh, this time. You can also use the white, uh, the frost white. Um, I like them both. The champagne is, uh, it's got a little more shimmer to it, a little more bling. Um, so I like that look on this project. So um, you want to kind of blot off quite a bit of the, the shimmer paint. You don't want it uh, in big blotches. You want to just get little spots of your shimmer paint on here. And this is going to give it a really pretty kind of sheen to the whole project. So you may be able to see how shimmery that is. After that, you set it aside to dry. And once it's no longer uh, tacky and coming off on your fingers when you touch it. Then we're going to use the brayer. First I ink the brayer with some Blushing Bride and I just start putting down some subtle color and it's starting to show up the, the uh, shimmer paint quite a bit more. And then after the Blushing Bride, I'm going to go over it again with some crumb cake because I want to tone down all that pink just a bit. That's getting nice and rich. There. Okay. So now you can maybe see the shimmer paint. Now I'm just going to wipe off the piece because where the shimmer paint is, it's resisted the ink. The next thing I'm going to do is emboss this with the flourish from the Elements of Style stamp set. First, I rub the piece with my embossing buddy. Otherwise, the embossing powder will really stick to the whole piece. Then I ink up my stamp, and I'll stamp it a couple of times. One going from the bottom corner and one from the top corner. Next I cover it with clear embossing powder. and then melt with my heat tool. And there you have a lovely tapestry looking piece to use as a background in your project. Now you can leave it like this and use it as background or you can go further and do some distressing with it. And if you'd like to see how I do the distressing, I'll show you that in another video. I'll be posting the distressing video soon, so be sure to check back at www.stampingmadly.com. Happy stamping!